Caffarelli Action Reporter, and I am doing a report on the Sanagua in Indians. Before I travel back in time, 715 years ago, I am doing research on them so I can interview the Sanagua Indians. Our first stop is Montezuma's Castle, home to the Sanagua in Camp Verde, Arizona. I am here at Montezuma's so Castle right now. Do you know what Sanagua means? Sanagua means without water because they lived in the desert where there was no water. Sanabu's home, Montezuma's Castle, is halfway between Flagstaff and Phoenix. Here is another map of where they lived. The Sanagua moved south when the Sunset Crater Volcano erupted near Flagstaff. The Sanagua were hunters, farmers, gatherers, and traders. Here is a view of what it looked like in the castle. Standing on the farmland under Montezuma's Castle, this is where the Sanawa tribe built their axes, their knives, and, all, and carved all their other stuff, like jewelry. Tools for cutting and hunting, preparing food, and making crafts you can still see today. Petroglyphs are carvings in red stone where they used to live. Our next stop is Montezuma's Well, about six miles north of the castle. Above the water, you can see cliff ruins of where they used to live. This is Montezuma's well. This well filled, fed the Sanagua. Um, 1.5 million gallons get generated here every single day. We are at Montezuma's well. The Sanagua transferred um, water in ditches and in canals from the well to their crops. You can see here the canals and ditches that were built to transfer the water to the crops of the Sanagua. Our final stop was at the Museum of Northern Arizona in Flagstaff. This museum houses one of the largest collections of Sanagua artifacts, and the museum's founder named the Sanagua tribe. Example of the Sanagua's pottery and baskets. Here are more examples of all the artifacts in the museum. You will notice pottery, jewelry, baskets, arrowheads, and even a child's toy made from a willow branch. Now that I have researched the Sanagua, it is time to travel back in time and interview them. There are a lot of unanswered questions. Help me! Oh no! The first question I asked the Sanagua is why did they vanish or leave around 1380? They told me that at one time, 5,000 Sanagua lived in this area, but eventually migrated north to the Hopi Mesa and joined other Hopi and Pueblo cultures. Next, I asked them why they built their homes in the cliffs. They told me this was for several reasons. Security warmth to avoid flooding and so that most of the ground could be used for farming. I asked them what crops they grew. Corn was their primary crop, but they also farmed beans and squash. Next, I asked them what goods they made and what they traded for. The Sanawa ma were master weavers of baskets and cotton cloth. They traded for copper, a powdery pigment called azurite, and agrolite, a hard red stone. My last question was, what animals did they hunt for? They told me that deer, antelope, bear, rabbit, muskrat, turtle, and duck all lived in that area at this time. They are a great civilization. I really enjoyed visiting them. We should now celebrate. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God.